Hello and welcome back to the new season of Knights HQ Podcast brought to you by Maxwell Recruitment and Training. Highly skilled labour hire and real world training from engineering trades, construction to office administration. My name is Jay Nelson and with me always is Matt Croker. How are you, mate? Going really good, JJ. Going really good, mate. Serving this suspension at the moment, which feels like the longest suspension ever. But Surely not bored. Um, I'll be back soon. But uh, pretty excited for what we got on today. Got me old stable mate next to me. Yep. <laughs> My old podcast friend, <laughs> KP. And alongside him, we got our other co-captain of the Newcastle Knights in Jaden Braley. So welcome, boys. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me, boys. Excited to be here. Excited to be here. Do you call this your, your podcast? Nah, 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 nah. This is the Knights HQ, HQ yeah, podcast, okay. mate. I just I'm Everybody just, owns it. Yeah, I'm just the a foot soldier. Owns it. Just a okay. foot soldier along, okay. the, along the path. Clear that Jay, up. how you going, mate? I'm good, man. Yeah. Good, yeah. Just got back from New Zealand. Yep. A uh, bit of a, an away trip, and now we're, we're back in the HQ. You know, getting it done, asking the harsh questions, getting to the, the big issues. The Wasn't the greatest round one, boys. I like just straight off the bat. You know, we were faced with a bit of adversity quick with Frizz going down. We didn't get the win. What are your thoughts? We didn't on get that? the win. Um, there's a lot of good things to take away from the game, though. I thought our, I know the scoreboard doesn't reflect, um, I guess, the process. We were pretty uh, disappointed, obviously, with the outcome. Never want to lose. Uh, but I think if we look at where we are, or where we are this time compared to last year. Um, there's a lot of great signs, a lot of positivity. The spine's new, the bench is new. Um, and to, to be honest, we had a we fought ourselves back into that game and gave ourselves a chance to win. Um, you know, if things didn't happen the way they did, who's who's to say we didn't we don't win that one? So um, yeah, I mean, disappointing to, to not come back with the two points, but there's a lot of good things to come out of it. Now, Browse, you've probably played the most out of the other spine members with KP, but as he said before, there's a new spine. What's it uh, What's it feeling like, mate? What's it building towards? Probably just um, the biggest thing for us, I think, is staying on the field as much as possible. That's that's the best thing for us. And as you said, it's been, been a lot of chop and changes. And um, for us, the spine, we just want to keep building on those combos. Obviously... Got Jacko and Lockie Miller, who are brand new to the club. I thought Lockie Miller, I thought they were both outstanding on the weekend, and we just got to understand what they look for and what they want to get out of their game. And um, yeah, it's you know it's only round one. We're going to get building, and as, as KP said, you know there's a lot of positives to take out of it. So um, yeah, we'll get better. I was chatting to sorry, to, I was chatting to Lockie today. Like it's our first game together in, in the preseason. I think we only got three or f- maybe three full sessions together. I was saying to him, imagine like what six weeks looks like, what twelve weeks, you know, a year, two years. Like some spines are together for two, three years. Yeah, I've, you know, we, we've only played a handful of game together games together over the last two years, three years, due to injury. If we can hold our spine together, again, learn what each other wants and and, and keep evolving, like it's just going to be so exciting. Well said, mate. Yeah, one hundred percent. Now, boys, um, look. You've, well, grown, you've grown a lot since <laughs> our podcast, haven't you? Can we, um, did, for all the listeners out there that used to listen to 257, can we just get it off the table, mate? What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> what happened there, mate? Eh? I'm interested to hear this. Yeah. I'm actually, well, I'm yeah. actually uh, do you want to start off a... Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, stop uh, it. Nah, go nah, on, Jay, go on, Jay. I could have um, jumped in. Yeah. Well, Crokes. look, the weekend wasn't, you know, completely <laughs> bad. Uh, we've got two members of the Glamour's Cricket Club, and I think the boys got up on the... Uh, at the Wellington Turf Arena, as it were, are you a are you a glamour? Nah, last year I was um, uh, Bogan. Okay, there oh, you is, go. That, is that what the other team's called? Uh, was what was it? Glamours and Glamours and Yobos. Ranks. Yobos. 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 But the glamours got up on the weekend, so congrats, boys. Yep, thanks, um, you deserve it. Now <laughs> we're we're going to start today. Now we normally do like a bit of a player quiz, asking people like what. Do they know about their own careers? We've already done it with both of you in the past. So we're going to mix it up a little bit today. We're going to ask each of you about the other bloke and see how much you know about your mate and your teammate. So we're going to start with you, KP. Now this one, I reckon, is a bit of a given because we were just talking about it then. But do you know the name of Jaden's dog? Uh, We do. Fred? Yep. Freddy. Correct. Frederick. Fred. What son? do you call him when you like angry at him, Frederick? How much? Wow. How much <laughs> do you name. love him? Yeah, how much? Yeah. Honestly, do anything. I'd do anything for Fred. If I, someone I said, "I love him," okay. not my son. If someone said, "Give me fifty thousand dollars right now nah. for Fred," nope. 
50 G's. No, no 50 good. 50 G's. What's no. your number? There's got to be a number. Uh, honestly. Five mil. Money can't buy. Uh, money can't buy happiness. <laughs> not, not, not with Fred. 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 Oh, honest, oh, the boys ask me this all the time. I Before I got Fred, I thought they were mad. But until you actually... Until I got Fred, I understand. Like I speak to, G- to JSAF yeah. all the time about this. And before I got a dog, I said, what's your price? And he said, nah, nothing, nothing. And I thought he was mad. Now I understand. Okay. Are from. you going to get his name tattooed on your chest? Or Actually, something? probably. <laughs> across my back. <laughs> <laughs> on your neck. <laughs> across my back. <laughs> Somewhere close to my heart. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I like the second one. Um, KP, to you still, who is uh, Browse's favourite music artist? Um... I'm going to have to take a guess because I don't actually know Jaden's taste in music. Just call him Brian. <laughs> <Jayden. laughs> oh, no. Sorry, Jaden. Am I in trouble? <laughs> um, <laughs> like, uh, can I, a country singer? Um, yeah, yeah I, don't, uh, I sort of float around a bit. Like, I think, I think OG. Um, OG. Think OG. Look at me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Browse. Look me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> who who did I dress up as a couple of weeks ago? That remember that photo I showed you? I dressed up as a that dress up. Eminem. Yes. 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 Some shading. Yeah. Uh, are, are we are we staying with Brails? Are we going to yeah, go yeah, one yeah, for stay, one? Yeah, yeah. Stay with Brails. All right, cool. Uh, KP, when was Brails' first game for the club? Twenty twenty. Correct. Which round? Round one. Yes, yes mate. Round one. It was a win, wasn't it? Well done. What are you, 2021? Win? Win against the... That, was that the field goal against Manly? Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. That, 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 was, that was his first yeah, game. Was, yeah. was it Warriors, 20-0? Yeah, the wet game. Yeah. Oh, was that oh, was that game? That, one. that was a good game. Um, KP, mate, you're going pretty good. Three from three. Who is Jaden's NFL team? <laughs> Stop looking over here. Rams? Yeah. Rams? Yep. Yes. Where, are they, where are they from? Where are the Rams from? You don't know where the Rams are from. Are you taking the Mickey? Come on, man. Well, that's the Rams. I'm giving yeah. you half a point. I am not accepting that. Yeah. Can you say that? LA Rams. Oh, West LA Coast. Rams. KP, where did Brails grow up? Shire. Yep. Oh, yeah. Cronulla. Yeah. Cronulla. Yeah. Yeah. Cronulla, yeah. Bonus uh, point if you can get only bit, nah, I don't. Nah. You won't get the bonus point. <laughs> Menai, is that it? Menai. 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 <laughs> Steve Menai. <laughs> 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 There's Menai's, oh. Menai's on like on the <laughs> Menai's like on the la, the last suburb on the outskirts of the Shire. So Menai cops a little bit of flack for that reason. Oh. But <laughs> Don't try Menai. and make it sound oh, yeah, yeah, tough. Right. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's swimming in silver speed. <laughs> okay, um okay, Browse. Now do KP pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. good, mate. Probably five from five. There's a couple of little iffy answers, but anyway. Yeah. Browse to you. What is KP's current golf handicap? Well, I know he's pretty good, obviously. Um, in single digits? Yeah, he's yeah. in single yeah, digits. We'll give yeah. you that yeah. hint. Eight. Oh, think a bit higher. Oh, nine. Oh, no, nah, no, five. Think <laughs> 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 a bit higher. Is that higher? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I was just trying to mess you up. Go on, Jay. Uh, no, five. KP's go to pub good feed. Start. Sorry, KP's go to pub feed. Scotch Phillips steaks. Oh, bang, yeah. bang, bang, bang. One that from two. That was actually really good. Okay, this is a bit of a tough one. What minute did KP score? Dude, this is really hard. On his <laughs> night's debut back in 2018. Uh, all right. <laughs> can, can we get back to my questions <laughs> for a second? What? So. <laughs> Yeah. What's KP's what, dog's you know, name? I have a one in eighty shot at getting this right. It's yeah, go on. Yeah, wait, just yeah. like you, just you put up. Um, we'll give you this. Right, it was early right. in the game. Yeah, it was yeah early in the game. Oh, would you ten, say tenth minute? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Third minute, mate. Third minute against yeah. Manly. Little skip out, dummy. Bang. Bang. There you go. What a start. Thanks, there you go. Welcome to Newcastle. Um, KP's biggest fear. Um. Relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say commitment. <laughs> <laughs> we have a winner. <laughs> uh, relationships. Yep. Man, I reckon we'll, we just no, get. We'll no, don't that. worry about we'll the answer. We'll just take that. that. We'll yeah. take that's relationships. A that's a win. That's a win. Um, Who is Kaylin's biggest man crush? I think I'll actually get this right. This is tough. He, but no, 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 I'll get it. Oh, nah, I, I don't think, think you will. Eh? No, nah, because I'm Brooks seasonal. Kepka. 
<laughs> good work. That's good work. You got one from five. You suck. No, you got two. JB. The relationship. JB. Because when then Devin Booker's like my basketball yeah. one. Yeah. There's a couple. Brooks Honestly, kept, is Brooks kept your golf one? Yeah, he loves it. Sure. Yeah, I'm a bit off him, eh? Nah. After no, watching no, 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 a bit no. of the full swing. Great, it's great. Yeah, is he bit on himself? Look, he's he's Very, in a rut. Yeah. He what? Well, but that's okay. He's not anymore. He's in a rut. Yeah, he's just gone to live. He's living a high life. Yeah, I just he's oh, happy. Right. Guaranteed like cash. Got muscles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. his house looks alright. He's, he's getting it well, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The people strutting around his house are going alright too. He gets all the sneakers he wants from Nike. What a life! Biggest fear. What about this? We went to the movies last night. Have you seen the new movie called Air? No. Oh, is that the about trailer? the Phil yeah. Knight thing? <laughs> no, I haven't seen it. JP turns to me at the end of the trailer yeah. and he thought, I thought that movie was about me. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's, that's a lie. That's a I'm lie. I'm just doing this with you, mate. I'm just doing this. <laughs> man, I thought I heard that too, mate. I thought I heard that too. <laughs> you weren't there, mate. I thought it was even that. The movie. <laughs> oh, oh, well done, boys. That's KP. an exclusive for Nights HQ. Air is about Kalen Ponga. KP takes a cake on that one. Good work, mate. Yeah. Well, so I'm who won? Shot. Did we get a winner out of that? KP. Yeah, KP. I think I won. Yeah. I think the questions were a little bit easier on one side. The funniest but answer. But that's okay. I won. <laughs> um, <laughs> look, we've talked about the the game on the weekend. We've talked about the the combination with the spine and stuff, mate. Let, let's move forward. KP, mate, you're nearing your hundredth game. I am. It's just yeah. around the corner. It's funny because uh, if I didn't get the head knocks last year, Brows and I would have had our hundreds on the same. Oh. To line up, yeah, yeah the same wow. game, which would have been good um, to share that with Brails. But yeah, I think it's next week. Yeah, well, all things going to plan. Round three will be will yeah. be the hundredth. Yeah. So, so it, first home game for the year, mate. It should be a huge one. Um, do, do you reflect on those milestones when when they come around? I think well, next week I will for sure. I think I've done it before when I did 50, 50 I remember sort of just sort of like looking back on all those games I played. I definitely will. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud. I'll be pretty proud, I reckon, next week. Yeah. Uh, I've got a job to do this week, obviously, but, yeah, I mean, 100 games is pretty special. What is do you remember about your 100? Sorry, mate. Yeah, right. um, Browse, I, I remember it wasn't too fun of a night yeah. for us, but, like, just, I mean, in terms of the build-up and yeah. having your mum and dad there in Brisbane, like, what's that sort of feeling like, mate? Yeah, it's very special. I think, um, for me at the time, I really appreciated it, probably that bit more after the couple of years that I'd had. Yeah. Obviously, coming back from my Achilles last year and um, – I probably wasn't sure if I was going to get it last year, to be honest, mm. with, um, after that setback at the start of the year. And, um, yeah, it's just really cool. Um, obviously, having your family there present your jersey, they see the, you know, the, you know, the good times and, and the tough times you go through. And, um, yeah, KP will, will, have a, will have a great time through the week, obviously reflecting on it. And, um, obviously, Fitzy's got his this week, yeah. which, which is pretty special as well. So, um, to be honest, from my perspective, I was going to make – I really want to want the boys to get up for it and get two wins because um, I know it's probably a game that, they, that they'll remember forever. Yeah, yeah. they're pretty. Uh, we've got a couple coming up actually. I was talking to Brady today in the showers, and I think he's got his fiftieth. I think he's at forty eight, so he's got his fiftieth coming up. And Gags has got his two fiftieth. Yeah, in games. four games. Yeah. in it's four awesome. games. So yeah. Um, yeah, there's a few few around the corner. Um, going back. Whereas you just said, like, you know, last year you weren't sure what was going to happen and if you get back. and all that. So you are back now. You've had a really good preseason. We've got a stat here. 49 tackles, zero missed on the weekend. That's got to be good to start off that on, on that foot, you know. Uh, yeah. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, you know, you're having such a strong performance in the middle there on the weekend. Thanks, mate. Yeah, um, I think I just wanted to, um, especially to start off the year, I think having those zero misses, is really important. Obviously, getting used to contact, getting used to uh, the washing machine out in the field, and just getting back, getting your timing back um, was, was a big focus of mine. And obviously, you don't want to be missing too many in the middle. Yeah, obviously for sure. It makes the job harder for everyone else. So, um, you know, something to build on. There was some areas I, I, I want to build on coming in the next few weeks, and some things I wasn't happy with. So, um, but yeah, no, there's a lot of good things to take out of it personally, and. Um, hopefully we can start, you know, getting some wins. And obviously physically that was awesome to sort of get through the game, feel good after it. Obviously the losses, you don't feel good about that, but yeah. what you've done out there and, you know, what you've done in the preseason has paid off and it's, you yeah, know, for sure. doing your thing. I've got um, a lot of confidence in my preseason. I've got a full preseason in, so yeah. I've, I haven't missed a single drill the whole year, a whole preseason since yeah. November. So, um, yeah, that's only going to give me confidence through the year and, um, yeah, fingers crossed I can keep the, keep the ball rolling. What's yeah. the most tackles you've ever made in a game? Um, 
Don't be modest. 68. Holy! Is the most ever? Yeah. Was that, what game do you remember it? Um, no, I don't remember. So you just remember. made that number out of the stat. <laughs> I remember the stat. <laughs> it could be that. <laughs> it was the most you've made, yeah. you know? 121. 11 on the weekend. 11 on the weekend. Nah, you would have made a stack that. Oh, actually, Origin. Origin debut? Origin when I played 13. When you played Locke. All right. Um, do you reckon, like, team, are you a spot? Okay. Well, when you got De- yeah. when you got Daniel Safiti and Jacob Safiti sitting next to you, <laughs> and you got Jaden Bradley, I think you're running the Jaden. Yeah. <laughs> um, boys, this weekend we have the Tigers at Leichhardt. Um, if you watch any of their game this weekend against the Titans, man, that crowd was pumping. It, yeah, was, it was standing room only. Um, going to be a big game. Uh, how does it feel, sort of, you know, going into the next round and going into enemy territory as it was? We've got Jacko, who's obviously an ex-player there. He won't have a big game. What's what's the feeling around the group? Uh, I think off the back of the weekend, it's just about, you know, sticking to the process, building upon uh, the good and the bad from, from last weekend. Uh, they're playing a pretty, like a different style of footy, I guess, the Tigers. They're throwing the footy around, um... Almost playing with no fear. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, and it's for us. It's about um, you know worrying about a- ourselves in a sense where you know we we know what we can do to sort of hopefully stop that. Uh, but it's about doing that for eighty minutes as well. I think on the weekend, I would say sixty minutes of our footy was good. Yeah. Um, and then the twenty that we you know we probably aren't proud of. So against these blokes, the way they play footy. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to be on every tackle because I think they literally throw the ball around every tackle. So, and every minute of every, of a, of the game. So, yeah, it's exciting though. I mean, it's a challenge for us to go there. Uh, like hearts, it's not the easiest over yeah, to play yeah. on. Um, but again, it's worrying about ourselves and, and our energy. Do you feed off that crowd? Like, if that that whole place is just full of tiger jerseys and they're booing us and all that sort of stuff, does that kind of get you going a little bit more to to perform? Yeah, hundred percent. It's such a Special place to play. Yeah. Um, obviously, play, been lucky enough to play there a couple of times now. And even though you're on the other side of it, you know it's it's pretty yeah, cool it's to cool. be um, playing in that arena. So um, it's, it's going to be nice to have a day game as well. I think. Um, obviously, eight o'clock is pretty hard to prep for over in in New Zealand. It's a long day, and um, four o'clock kickoff this weekend. Sun's out. It's going to be. Hopefully, it's a dry track, and um, yeah, hopefully, we can um, play some footy. It'll be a heck of a game because they love throwing the ball around at the moment, mm. and we've got a fair few players that can do the same. So. It'll be pretty exciting. It will be. It will be. Playing for the Alan McMahon Shield. We won that last year, round two at home. Do you remember that? At home? Last year. Oh, yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah round yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah remember we had the little... Um, Jacko got simbined. Oh, that's right. No, yeah, Tyron Peachy got simbined, wasn't it? Was it? I thought Jacko got no, Jacko for Tex. Oh, remember? Jacko was that simbined. the Tex Hoy tackle when he... Sm- Do you remember? No, they both got simbined. No, you really think right. Oh, yeah, because I remember Tyron Peachy got simbined and Cliffo yelled in his ear. Do you yeah, remember that? It right. was early yeah, in the yeah. game. What did Jacko do? We had a cracker. Remember he, I'm pretty sure he, in that game, or might have yeah, been. He did. He, he got sat, suspended. Yeah, he sat Tex. Yeah. <laughs> bad, True. Yeah. It, bad, like it was a bad tackle. It was yeah, illegal. Yeah, wow. So he must have missed a bit of weeks for it. Um, but hopefully we can have a day like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That was a, that was a good lovely. game. Um, look, you guys are um, been named co-captains again this year. Um, it was your first run out uh, last weekend. Um like, do you guys enjoy the role, bouncing off each other? You know, obviously, Brails does a little bit more talking to the ref during the game and things like that. But mm. I saw KP, you were sort of doing that a little bit more this, uh, like, sorry, last week. So how's it feeling? Is it, is it, have you got the role sorted and you guys are sort of doing your thing out there? Yeah, I think we're really enjoying it. I think, um, you know, ha- having the both of us there, we can really bounce off one another and, and share the role. And, like, one person doesn't feel like they're carrying yeah. the full weight. So, I think that's pretty cool and, and we've been working pretty hard um, away from training as well, um, the two of us with improving ourselves um, mentally and, and also um, getting the getting the team right as well with with how we lead. So uh, I've seen a big big imp- uh, improvement with Kay over the last six months especially and you yeah. can see he really cares about, you know, changing, changing um, uh, the way we are at the club, our standards yeah. and... Um, yeah, it's pr- he's, he's definitely um, been really good to work with. I was on the sideline and I could tell that you were way more vocal than what I've ever seen you before. So um, it's definitely something that you've been working on, mate. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I think uh, for myself to have Brails not only on the field, but off the field as well. Um, yeah, we've had a disrupted last two years with injury um, and everything else that's gone on. And 
well, not only us two, but the other people around the club, the other leaders that we've got, Croaks being one of them. Like we've got these boys that are coming through that um, they genuinely care. They care about the club. They care about the success of the club, and they're leaders in their own right. Um, like we've got a leadership group that every single one of them we know we can lean on, and again, they care so much. They just want the best for the club, and they want to win. Um, we've recruited some blokes this off season that want to win. They're here to win. They're not just here to to put the jersey on. They're here to win in the jersey. So yeah, uh, it's it's making our job and our role easier. And um, yeah, it's an environment that I want. I love being in. Who takes what role? Who does a coin toss? Rails does most of it. Well, you won again I'm too. I'm telling you, I, I you won again. Take, it's not even. <laughs> <laughs> I pride myself on this coin toss. Ask Adzi Obra. I, honestly, it's, it's actually becoming a joke. How many times well, this well, coin toss? He practices at home. He Dude, well, at the season launch, when you said Dennis yeah. ran the numbers, and you're eighty-one percent, I that stuck in my brain. So when you went out and did it, yeah, nice. I literally f- stopped what I was doing to watch the coin toss to see how you went, and you won again. I'll be honest, eighty-one percent. I did. I've made that yeah. up. Low balling you really? yourself. I reckon you're low balling yourself. I, I, Did you make that up? I made it up for a laugh. <laughs> but <laughs> Dude, but I was like, oh, 81%. I'm three from three to start the year, tr- both trials and on the weekend. There you go. And last uh, last year, it was like I was so one most. Someone so knock on wood, so keep it going. How's it going to yeah. work? Like, are you just going to keep do- like, are you just going to keep doing the coin toss until you lose and then throw it to him or are you going to alternative? Because you don't want to no, break no, the no. streak. No, no you you can, keep you him doing it. Yeah, you got to keep rolling. Heads. And then who leads it out? Like, who leads the team out? Or do you just walk sort of I lead the team out. Who leads the team out? Like I go first. And yep. then on the field, Browse is always right next to the ref. In the midst of it, yeah. Yep. So. Because I do the coin toss too, it's with the referee. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah, to yeah. him then and there. He gives Who's, me some tip, like, t- chat to me. And yeah. Um, yeah, because I'm usually defending right next to the referee at times. Yeah. Just go straight to him. So. Who's karma? Oh. I reckon Kayla. Both pretty similar, you'd say. Yeah. I think Browse on the field, man. You reckon? Yeah, okay. bro. KP's got a bit of a spray in him. Yeah, yeah. fiery, fiery. Yeah, yeah, fiery. <laughs> but like it's great. Like it's it's a good it's a good kind of fiery. But I reckon nah, Browse sometimes I look at him. And he's got like nothing to spray me with. He's too cooked himself. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas KB's just always so bouncy and shit. Craig, <laughs> do your yeah. job. Like 40, Forty nine tackles. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say, Joe? What did I say? Eleven tackles. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair, fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, fair. Oh well, boys. Say, hey, listen, uh, back it. Mac Jones next week, um, next, yeah. next Friday afternoon. So um, it'll be a massive turnout, as we always get. Are you excited? Definitely. Yeah. It just sucks that we have to wait till round three. Yeah. But I mean, um, hopefully get a win this weekend, fly into next week, and put a performance on that we're proud of. Against the Dolphins as well. Watch them play, um, obviously on Sunday, and I was probably a bit like everyone else. I didn't expect to see them fly out of the blocks yeah. so well so early. Um, yeah. Look at their team sheet. They've got a really quality side. But um, you know they're gonna. Th- th- there is no such thing as an easy game in this competition, and they're gonna be right up for it. So. How open is it, mate? Like That's crazy. Looking at the table, it's ridiculously just so spread across mate. the board. I tell you what, some people go, "Oh, we don't have enough talent for a seventeenth team." Well, I beg to differ. Mm. When you look across the board and you go, "Geez, mm. ten teams could almost fight for that trophy," and people are sitting there saying, "We ain't got enough talent to spread and, across and the league." Like, it's there wasn't any like blowouts either. Win. No yeah. blowouts in no, the score lines. No, they were no. all pretty tight. We've, we had games. upsets, yeah. Yeah. close games. That just shows there's more than enough talent. So yeah, goes for another one. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break. Welcome back to Night HQ podcast, brought to you by Maxwell Recruitment and Training. We're here with Jaden Braley and Caelan Ponga. I'm also here with my co-host. The second seat on this ship, Matt Croker. Um, boys, we've got some fan questions. We put a little thing up on our Instagram story, had some people uh, write in. So we're going to start with underscore Brianna. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, ask KP when he's going to bring the mullet back. Uh, I don't think I will. I don't think it is coming, is it? I like the shaved head, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I might, might just run this for this year and then... Maybe next year do something It's a different. bit businessy, isn't it? Like it's... There's business uh, at the front, yeah, business at the back. It's going to work, <laughs> man. Business on yeah. the side. It's like just, yeah. The three it's on a top. multi-business. Three, three on top, two on the sides. Three, yeah. Military. Sorry, so... Look, as long as Are you going to do that? Because <laughs> <laughs> remember when you like first cut it and you come in here and all the boys thought you were taking the mickey? Yeah, we all I thought it was good. a J-up. I feel like if you can pull off a... <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I've been, I have been saying that. If you can pull off short hair... What do you get the good cut? Do you ask for the task So the up? next question is, <laughs> that fitness bloke asks for brows in particular, um, what advice would you give a 
dummy half who's seven years old, like what tips would you give? Tips? Um, maybe two tips I'd give. Um, maybe when you're passing, you, c- you can't do enough pass, uh, enough practice dummy half passing. What I used to do when I was probably seven years old, I used to maybe stand about 10 metres away from a brick wall and I used to make an X on, on the wall at home. And me and Blake, after school every day, we'd just practice passing. We'd just do passing every day, try and hit the X as much as we can. And until it become automatic almost. Um, and probably the other one would be, <sighs> if it's a one marker, just get up and just start running. Just take off and, and go. Next question. Sophie Mills asks, what do you think oh, the world Millsy. would look like? <laughs> 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 what do you think the world would look like in 50 years' time? The way AI is going. We, we might, were talking we about AI here. today. There's a bit going on in the... 76. You've surely got like a chip in your brain that just like yeah, ruins your whole life, right? Yeah, we, we'll At that be, point. We'll still be kicking. We're 76, we'll yeah. We'll still be kicking. Cruising around. Have a chip in our brain. Yeah. We might be young again. Who knows? If we had a crypto, we'll still be around. I do crypto. Is it isn't it, yeah, is is it still gone around? now? Is it relevant? Like, well, are people still uh, investing? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. My answer is. Um, you reckon AI? AI will take over. Yep. Yeah. I reckon there won't be any jobs. Robots? We, we were looking at it today. Maccas. Maccas have a like a f- completely just. Full, um, robot. Robotics yeah, serving wow. McDonald's. McDonald's. They so make the burgers. Yeah. Bro, those burgers would be so good. Do you good. reckon we'll be living in reality or full Matrix VR style? I don't just know, sitting in man. a couch at home going through the metaverse. I don't know. I don't really stuff. play video games, so I don't know how advanced they are. Think about stuff that like that. Yeah. Think yeah. about the robots or no? Yeah, no, the yeah, AI scares me. We were talking yeah, about that. Definitely. Yeah. Isn't Isn't I robot the movie? Yeah, I robot. Yeah, Will yeah. Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys tried that Hello? chat GPT <laughs> thing? <laughs> <laughs> the warning was there the whole time. <laughs> oh, mate, Hello? that's so good. That is so good. All right, last one from um, Chaz underscore TT underscore show underscore beers. He asks, I just got to say it. Yeah. For both boys, if you could have one player from the past to play alongside you, who would you have and why would you have him there? Joey, um, that was the first name I thought of, or yeah. maybe Billy Slater. Yeah, oh, Billy, Billy Slater would yeah. probably be good. Just competitor, um, big voice in the field by I the looks of it. Knights, but sorry. Oh, not yet. Is it oh, a- let's, go, wait, let's go Knights one and then anyone. Yeah, Joey. Yeah. yeah, so Joey. Joey and Billy. So we've got who's, Joey, who's, who's the other one, yeah. Can I have two? Yeah, yeah, of course you can, mate. Let's just bend it, doesn't matter. Yeah, bend yeah. the rules. Bend the rules. JT and Billy. No, you, yeah. you played with JT. If yeah, I want him back, but imagine oh, him okay. in his prime. Imagine being able to learn. Yeah, yeah. fair. Hectic. Two good halves there. I think I'd go Bedsy and I'd go Boyd Cordner. Mm. I know the question wasn't for me, but I'm just joking. <laughs> 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 no, I like that's, that. Though. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I, like I think Bedsy because I'd be working in the nine with him. Like he's middle forward, I'm a middle forward, and then Boyd would be. Yeah. Yeah, just sort of me edge forward. I reckon that'd be pretty mad. See, Boyd's on that new SAS show. Yeah, he yeah, is. He best. is. Put your house on him. He wins that. Yeah, without absolutely, doubt. he wins that easily. 100%. It was like when Sam Burgess went on there. Everyone knew Sam was going to win it. Yeah, You're not breaking Boyd, are you? No. Nah. Boys, thanks for coming in. That's it. That's done. We're done. Thank you. Unreal. Um, good luck for the rest of the year. Um, you know, obviously we'll be watching, and you know, you'll have the big boy back soon. Yeah, can't wait. Uh, round three, right, Good. Croaks? Round three. Round yeah, three. beautiful, beautiful. Round. Well, guys, look, you can subscribe and leave a review on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. We're on YouTube now as well. So subscribe to YouTube, uh, hit the bells. You'll get notified when we drop a new video. There's plenty happening around Nights HQ. And the best way to stay up to date with all of that is through the club's website and our social media channels. All of our social like, media channels are and at NRL Nights. Like, also comment, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> make, make love to that red button. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not this again. Bang. Could nah, seriously, tried. thanks for coming oh. on, boys. Thank you. Oh, Me and Jay had to fork out a bit of cash to get used to on here. <laughs> <laughs> We've been asking you for weeks and weeks, but uh, you finally yeah, come on. Thanks very much, boys. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having us. We'd good also good like to thank our sponsor, Maxwell Recruitment and Training, yeah. for bringing you this episode of the podcast. Boys, once again, thanks for coming on. Cheers, boys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.